Thanks for tuning in to Sermon Slice. I'm Pastor Jay, lead pastor here at Hillside. And Sermon Slice is a portion of Sunday's message for weekday application. So thanks for dropping by this week. We uh, just finished week two of our series called Choosing Christmas. It's a series that uh, is an excellent way to reinforce the message by a drama that takes place just before the message and uh, they correspond and it really does help with the preaching because it gives us a visual illustration of what I'm talking about. And this week we were talking about to the rescue and so many times in our lives uh, we don't want to be bought. If somebody does something for us we want to return the favor. We don't want to feel like we're obligated to somebody so we take it upon ourselves to uh, come to our own rescue. In the drama we saw Janie, who is the owner of the salon, not really know what to do with the fact that her owner of the building wanted to give her the deed to the building. Uh, so she came up with a new plan. She would buy out the building. She would take care of it. And uh, she wouldn't have to receive this gift. And so many times when we think about our walk with God, that's the way we sometimes approach it. We think, if I can do enough good things and if I can live my life like the good person, then I can leverage that with God, and he can uh, rescue me uh, based on my goodness and the things that I do and my performance, not based on what he is uh, planning to do through the scripture we looked at today, and that is Luke chapter 2, uh, and we were looking at Luke last week, but this week we want to camp on one word, and that is that unto you this day is born a Savior, and that's what God sent the Christ to the world to do, to save and to rescue us. So many times we're looking for people to help us, uh, give us a second chance, a, a fresh beginning, those kinds of things. But uh, we need way more than that. We need saving. And that's what God came to do. And that's why he sent Christ on our behalf. So we have to be gripped by that truth, by that reality. That that's what God is doing. He is out to save us. And we also looked in Luke chapter 19, just briefly, that uh, Christ came to seek and to save the lost. And for those that are doing their own things, living their lives the own way, kind of that burned down life where uh, it's not going anywhere and we're lost. That's who Jesus came for. And so we can know him personally and we can know that he is reaching to us, not in a demanding, forceful way, but in a loving way. And as the scripture says in Romans chapter 2, verse 4, that it's out of his kindness that he is leading us to repentance. And what a wonderful truth for us today to remember that Especially as we approach Christmas, we think of all the goodness, the, the positive things of Christmas. We need to be reminded of Christ's love, God's love for us, and that out of his kindness, his tolerance, his patience, he is leading us to repentance. Well, I pray that this week will be a positive week for you, that you'll be able to experience a, the fresh touch of God, and that you'll be able to know of his goodness to us, uh, that, and that he is the one who want, that is going to save us, not in our own strength, not by our own rescuing, but by the power of God. So have a great week. I pray that you'll come back next week, and that you'll be able to check us out at Sermon Slice, but you'll also check us out at Hillside. Uh, week three and week four are the next two weeks, and I, I trust you're going to enjoy the special features of the service. We're going to be having kids sing again. There's going to be a special musical ensemble that we'll be playing. And, of course, our drama will be continuing uh, with week three. So God bless you. We'll see you next week on Sermon Slice.